in this video we will be seeing one of the easiest way of adding a f for help on the filter bar controls so this is the same application i'm using which we have created in our last video of metadata extension it's a very simple application it shows all of the list report and when you click on one of these you show the detail page and uh, all of these captions are coming from metadata extension which we have created okay so let's go to f4 help and uh, when you click on this button you are seeing a pretty much a generic pop-up where you need to remember the values if you want to put in basically this is this is not of any use if you remember then you probably can put the values here as well and if you hit enter uh, it will filter out the values okay but what we want rather is when a user click on this button it should show a pop-up and uh, it should show all of the airlines available in the system so the easiest way to do it is let's go to eclipse and uh, this is the same cds view which we have created last time for metadata extension we will be using this same cds view and making some changes onto the carrier id so that it will start showing up the f4 help with all of the values in our ui application so very first thing which we need to look for is is there any standard value help available in the system or if you have already created any other view uh, any other cds view which has uh, this field added to there like uh, association you can add the association as, as well here so if you have multiple tables right you you make an association and then you can use that field to add it to f4 help so for this video we will be using a very simple way we will be searching one cds view which will have all the values for the carrier id so let's see if we have any here carrier id okay so this view is showing all of the carrier id see this field so we will be targeting this field basically to add it to f4 help okay let's close it and uh, take the name of this view and go back to our original view and since we are using a separate view we will be using uh, annotation called consumption annotation okay and uh, for what we are using this annotation for value help value help definition okay now what it needs is it, it needs what you need to add means the entity what and en which entity you want to add so the entity name is it has a property called name what name this entity has or uh, what is basically the source of uh, your f4 help values so our source is our uh, another cds view and which element you want in that so we want carr id element in this okay and that's it uh, now let's activate it and uh, go and refresh the application okay now do an f4 see you got the uh, f4 help and when you click on go button you see all of the values available here 
when you click one of the item click ok and you will see the values available and click on go button and it got filtered out okay even uh, if you start typing here AA you will also uh, get a pop-up here the suggestion pop-up and you can select the values from here as well hit enter and you got the values and our application is running as fine so that's all for this video thanks for watching and if you like the content please subscribe leave comments if you have one or uh, if you want to share anything suggest anything comments are welcome thank you